Wow. The cameras do not do it justice. This thing is incredible. Why am I still filming? I don't know why I'm still filming. I'm okay, guys. Well, we made a mistake. I oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let's go, baby. Yeah. Oh man, what is good, you guys? So it is now the next morning after the Everglades video. <laughs> I have not been recording much content because I've kind of been like a, like a zombie, um, but I just got some food. Welcome to the video. You guys see the title. Today we're picking up our new edition. What I've been teasing you guys with for months and months and months. Guys, it's finally the day. It's finally here. Picking up our blue tree monitor, guys. We're getting an absolute dream species, blue tree monitor. We're out here in Florida. Oh, my camera's not focusing. It is so humid that my camera lens is fogging up, guys. That's a little bit better. That is a little bit better. <clears throat> you guys can really see the, the beauty of this state. Guys, I absolutely love everything about Florida. Like, this is, this is an amazing state, man. I have not been to South Florida. I've been able to explore South Florida before I've been, but I've never been able to explore it. I just pulled up to Cold Blooded Shop, I believe they changed their name to. You guys are about to see some really cool monitors. with the man the myth the legend Josh and picked up this blue tree monitor guys it's beautiful it's beautiful I didn't get any footage of the monitor itself but it's in this bag right here next to me <sighs> should I try and open it up for you guys the cameras don't do it justice guys the cameras do not do it justice this thing is incredible all right let's let's all right you know what we're gonna do it for the YouTube man you guys see that hand right there these are the sharpest nails I've ever felt on a lizard Oh my gosh. Yo, there's our blue tree monitor, guys. Our male blue tree monitor. I am gonna be getting a female for him eventually, but oh my gosh. Is this guy incredible? I cannot give a more massive shout out to my boy Nick at Living Attractions on Instagram, man. My absolute dog coming through on this blue tree, man. I, I can't believe this is even mine right now. We got a 16 hour drive back to Maryland, guys. I'm in disbelief right now. I can't believe I actually own a blue tree monitor. <laughs> Let's get back home. Here's a better look. Oh, prehensile tail coming out. Wow. Look at the tail, man. So he's wagging his tail right now. I'm not sure what exactly that, okay. Whoa, all right, he's getting a little bit, he's getting a little warm, guys. He's getting a little warm. This is, it's hot in this car. I do have AC on, but. I'll give you guys another check-in once, uh, I th if I stop to get him a bin, I'll let y'all know, but if not, I'll price you guys a couple hours later. Okay, guys, well, we made a mistake. I was trying to close it down and he got out. Uh, we have a blue tree monitor loose in the car. I don't know how I'm gonna get him back in this bag, but I have to try and I don't wanna grab him too much. So, okay, hopefully I don't get bit. I'm not really trying to get bit with a 15 hour drive left. Relax, 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 relax. Okay guys, okay, 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 we got a problem. We got him out, we got him, we got him. So here, I'm holding him in his shirt because he is, his claws are insane. So it's not how I wanted it to go, but we got him. He's, he's been pretty calm. I want to get him back in the bag to not stress him out. You guys can see the colors. The camera does not even pick it up. We got him back in guys. <laughs> Due to transport and whatnot, he's very stressed. His colors have actually dulled since I got him because of the stress. Just unnecessary guys, I didn't want him to get out, but he did, but we got him back in the bag. 
All right, you guys, it's like seven o'clock right now. I'm about to uh, about to leave Florida, heading to Georgia, but we did end up getting a bin for this guy. Just cause like, I didn't like him being in the bag, but you guys can see him right there. Beautiful, man. Oh, he's so good looking. Such a good body weight to him. He's, he's mine. I have full possession of this animal. He's an item. I'm just kidding, guys. All right, guys, it's about seven o'clock. We are in Georgia now. I don't know what city exactly, but it's a beautiful city. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Can't believe I actually have one now. Oh wait, I missed my exit for Taco Bell, but it's okay. Look at the moon! Use the left lane to make a U-turn at Richard. Siri, shut up! We're trying to observe nature. Oh my goodness! That's the moon, y'all. Dude, I shouldn't be doing this while driving. Hold on. Let me uh let me let me Let me do something. There's a there's a police right there too. Siri, you're ruining the moment, my guy. Look at this. Look at the moon, bro. Hold on, yo, I gotta go get a Taco Bell. I'm sorry, I love the moon, but Taco Bell at the moment is more important than the moon. Beautiful, but your boy has got to eat. Your boy is eating nothing today except one and a half Panera bread sandwiches. Yo, yo, what is going, yo, Siri, be quiet, brother. All right, guys, we are at the real Holy Lands. Forget that that alligator holy lands garbage. This is the real holy lands. Taco Bell. All right, bro. Okay, okay. I know we gotta get back on 95, but a brother gotta eat. A brother gotta eat, Siri. Would you relax? Would you relax? My goodness. Why am I still filming? I don't know why I'm still filming. I'm just going to Taco Bell. <sighs> Guys, I'm losing my sanity. Slowly but surely. Proceed to the room. I'm not proud to be here right now, but you know, a dude's gotta do what a dude's gotta do. Hi, can I get three of your regular crunchy tacos, and then can I get four of your beef soft tacos? Oh, what else? What was that? What else? That's all. Anything to drink? Just a cup of water, please. All right, it's gonna be 15 4, would you like to run up a charity? Mm, no, thanks. All right, it's gonna be 15 4, though, no, thank, thank you. you. Sorry, charity, that's a lot of money, brother. But whatever, we're getting our tacos. You know what I don't want to hear from you guys? That yes, you know, your boy likes to eat healthy. Your boy loves to eat healthy, actually. And I love working out and enjoying um, lifting weights. But when you're in a situation like this, bro, sometimes you just gotta stop at Taco Bell and eat. We got time left on our GPS, man. We got, this is nine hours left, but that's not to my, that's, that's like an hour and 15 minutes south of my house. So we got 10 and a half hours left probably. Is that the correct math? Yeah, 10 and a half hours. Um, so I'm gonna kill these seven tacos right now and we're gonna get back on the road. Update on El Tri Monitor. Y'all can't see them. So, so the time right now is currently 3.38 a.m. Uh, I decided to, I decided to just do it, man. Like, I decided to just do it in one shot. I have this tree monitor with me. I do not want him to have to sit in the car longer than he has to. <laughs> so, we did it. We are passing through the city of Richmond right now. Y'all cannot see it, but it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like at this moment, I don't feel tired at all, which is weird, but we're gonna roll with it, man. I'm not complaining. <sighs> all right, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I uh, didn't make it. So to, for, for, full, for full transparency, I was going to go all the way 
I just I just got into DC. I sorry, I just got into Maryland from DC. I was gonna go all the way, but the problem is I had maybe an hour and 50 left, two hours left. And I started like the, the trucks in front of me started looking like giant robots fighting. I thought I saw stuff running across the road. Low key, like the, the center line started to lift up. And it was at that point that I realized it was time to stop or I would never make it. Um, so we decided to stop here. He's going through it right now, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a... Uh, He's not too thrilled, it looks like, but he, he's he's woken up. He's pretty he's pretty cooled down. So we have an hour left, y'all. Like, let me actually show y'all what we got. There's a bunch of stuff in the car. Don't even worry about it. 48 minutes. Oh my, that's my address. I'm not putting my address in there. 48 minutes. <sighs> Guys, let's do this. Let's get Avalanche. You ready, my boy? Later. All right, guys, so I forgot to tell you, I picked up some of this Spanish moss from uh, some of the trees down there, and I decided, I made it home, by the way, just to fill you guys in. I decided to accent some of the enclosure with it. I think it really brings out the, uh, like the jungle part of it. So my family kept the, kept the jungle up and running while I was gone. Look at all these plants, guys. This mango tree was tiny three days ago. Same thing with that one. I mean, it looks really, really nice in here. And then if you come over here. Oh yeah, we got the glass on too, by the way. I forgot to update you guys on that. It's, we've been doing a million things, I'm sorry. It is officially ready. And I'll take some better shots of it later because it doesn't look as nice on camera, but he accented the whole thing. It's ready. I'm gonna just get some of these cups and put some water in there and then we will be ready. So also I did want to say, you guys see these super bright lights up here? These illuminate my enclosure super well. They're from my guy Colby from Thrive Ecosystems. There will be a link in my description. Full transparency, it is an affiliate link, so I do make like a couple bucks if you guys use that link to buy some. But guys, this enclosure is eight feet tall and they reach all the way to the bottom. Like they are super, super powerful. The, the wavelengths are super good. He loves to even sit underneath them. Guys, I cannot recommend them more. Thrive Ecosystems, if you are interested in purchasing, hit that link down in the description. All right, guys, we gave him a little bit of a soak before. He's, uh, he's ready to go in. So, wow, look at the colors. His colors are only gonna get better. So they have very sharp claws. This was from earlier, you guys can't really tell, but I'm gonna try to pick them up again just for the video, man, just for the video. Relax, my dude. Wow. He's being good. Ooh. Guys, it doesn't it doesn't feel good at all. So we're gonna get him in. I have <laughs> that really hurt. That really hurt. That really hurt. Oh, there he goes. To the back, of course. We can't see him. He's just taking it in right now. There you go, guys. Crawling all the way up. You can barely see him right there. He just disappeared into the jungle, guys. He's gone. There he is, guys. You can see his body. Now that we know we're not going to die in the car, I want to take a moment to actually kind of explain who we got here in this enclosure that is right behind me. Man, this is beautiful, man. So inside this enclosure, again, you guys saw on the screen, is our male blue tree monitor. He's about two to three years old. He's long-term captive. He is from my boy, Nick, the absolute goat, man. Living attractions on Instagram. I will have his stuff linked down below if you guys want any monitors. He works with a ton of different species. Hit my boy up. I give him my seal. Guys, he, he's the real deal. So this guy's name is Avalanche. And the reason I call him Avalanche is because he looks like he's wearing a bunch of diamonds on his back. So I'm like, all right, my boy's kind of iced out. Gotta call him Avalanche because he's got a bunch of ice on him. You see, the, you see the thought process there, but. So again, he is about two to three years old. I think he's like two-ish years old, two and a half years old, long-term captive. The reason I went with long-term captive over captive bred is because 
I do plan on getting a female for this guy. I would love to be able to produce some baby blue tree monitors. Guys, sorry the lighting's weird, but if it's the, if I put the fluorescent light on, it'll make a black bar in front of my face. But again, I do plan on getting a female for this guy. And if I was to get captive bred babies and, you know, breed those, we would already have those genetics here in the States, guys. The point is I want to diversify bloodlines, get new genetics into this project, this, this, this beautiful blue tree monitor project. I was actually going to pick up a female, but I didn't have a second enclosure ready. And I want to have that second enclosure, which will go right behind me. But yeah, there is the quick rundown on our guy Avalanche, man. He's just, he's such a stunner, man. His colors are getting better day by day that he's in here. He's been eating like a hog. This is the third day I've had him. Only thing I don't like about him is all these plants, man. Like he's kind of trampling them. So as you can see, it really looks like a rainforest inside of here. I got some, some inspiration when I was in the Everglades, which you guys are going to see the video of the Everglades, man. But this is some Spanish moss again you guys saw earlier. This is mango plant. Do tons of pothos that is going absolutely nuts. And then back here we have, you know, some more, some more pothos and whatnot. But come all the way up here. And this is his favorite place, man. He will sleep up here. And then he's been hanging out here most of the day. I had my family over, so my cousins were kind of taking a look at him. And uh, absolutely love this guy. But wow. There it is, guys. There it is. The giveaway is over now. I will be announcing the three winners on a community post like the day after this, maybe a couple days after this. So again, thank you guys for, for coming on this journey with me. You know, I drove a long way, but I didn't just drive to pick up the stream monitor. I linked up with my boy, Alex from Ravishing Reptiles. We filmed the most banger video that you guys will see in a couple weeks. 24 hours in the Florida Everglades looking for snakes, crocodiles, alligators, lizards, everything. We're the first ones to do it. I can't wait to bring that to you guys. Him and I are both gonna be bringing you a video on that, guys. But tell me what you guys think of Avalanche. Are you guys excited to see Avalanche on the channel? Excited to see the socialization journey, the, the, the feeding journey, the, the progression, getting a female, everything like that? Make sure you guys go comment down below if so. I love you guys. I appreciate all your support. I'll see you on the next video.